Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Y'all don't know, uh, all my life, music just pops in my head that goes with whatever I'm saying. I love it. I love music, man. Music, man. Anyway. Okay, so today is, again, it is the 14th of April, 2017. The time is 9.31. Okay, then after that, after the Lord guided me to flip to Acts 27, 24, that we're going to the island, okay, then he had me flip to, this is the exciting part, y'all, by, or, I'm sorry, he had me flip to Second Samuel. All right. And what's funny about that is I was talking the other day on my other video where I was talking about confronting the gang stalkers. And <laughs> I started like yelling and I was like, and you're done. Or I can't remember what I was saying. And then I said, man, I sound like Dave Chappelle. I didn't tell y'all the part that I sounded like that I reminded myself of, and I didn't mean to, I was like, it hit me, man, I'm really yelling, was when he imitated Samuel Jackson. <laughs> and he's like, I'm Samuel Jackson. A shark, a shark ate me. This is my voice. This is how I talk. <laughs> That's what I sounded like. The Lord said, you know, I gave you that voice, but, you need to be more meek in spirit when you're going out and dealing with the stalkers again, because he's been dealing with me on how I handled that the other day. He was a gang stalker. And by the fact that he didn't like say, what are you talking about? Or I'm not doing that. Or you're crazy. He just came back with a comment that a little kid would say, which is he didn't like my bicycle. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. <laughs> but I should have used that opportunity, y'all. I was just like, I just wanted to go home. Honestly, I was exhausted from all of the battling. And I should have used that opportunity to preach the love of Jesus. But honestly, I think that dude had, I think he was a demon. I don't think he had demons influencing him. I think some of these people are just walking shells. But that's another story. Okay, so the Lord had me flip to 2 Samuel 24. And it was really funny because Sis Karen has been getting, and she told me a couple other people have been getting confo about 923. I put forth about, a, I don't know, it was at least three, four weeks ago. It could have been longer than that. I have to go back and look. I put forth a dream I had that I woke up with the exact number, 923, before people were talking about it, okay? 923 Valiant Street, apartment 7 and 3, and I lived in 7, and whoever was my sis in Christ that was going to be like my, I guess, partner when we go to Battle the Fallen, which I think is Sis Karen, I think it is you was apartment three because she resonates with three but the address was 923 valiant street and i have it it's it's titled in one of my old videos and the lord had me flip to again second samuel 24 9 and joab gave up the sum of the number of the people unto the king and there were israel eight hundred thousand valiant men that drew the sword the title of this page and i have never seen this y'all just so y'all can see this is not a joke the title of the page in my bible i got a new king james bible because they actually defaced my bible they come up, they came into my apartment this was last year sometime came into my apartment and i had a special bible that my dad gave me that i really loved and they defaced it. First, they got, I, I found it, it was soaking wet, okay? So then I dried it out, and the pages were all, you know, crackly, but I could still use it. Then I came back, they had ripped out half the Bible, 
But the main thing that they ripped out was the entire book of Revelation, which is my favorite part. And they scribbled stuff on the Bible. I'm not kidding. And I still kept it. And uh, But I, I had another Bible I used. Anyway, long story short. And then the final one, they stole it. My Bible was actually missing. So I got this at Christmas time, y'all. And I never saw this in there. The top, the top of the page says, numbering of valiant men. I don't use that word ever. So for that to be in my dream, the Lord is really speaking to us. Okay? So he's calling us together. He's getting his troops together because we're about to go up. We're about to, you know, uh, I guess go into training at the island, a special place, he calls it, where we'll be hidden. And when all the stuff goes down, which is fire, 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 I keep getting being told fire. We will be in a, in a secret place, a safe place, and then we'll come back down. Save souls, which I can't wait to do, and kick the fallen's ace. And then the final thing the Lord guided me to was, I said, okay, Lord, so if we're going to the, to the island, you're numbering your troops right now. Uh, what is about to take place on this earth? Because I got a really bad coughing spell last night, y'all, and my dog. My dog was sneezing, and it was within 10 minutes of me being outside, and this was at night. And I was like, man, is it chemtrails again? And I couldn't see anything because it was dark, but then I noticed the clouds looked really weird and odd. If y'all are over about 30, 35 years old, You'll remember when we were kids, the clouds did not look like this. It's all the chemicals. And I woke up this morning and the cough and all that was gone, went out and it started again. And I looked up, there's a matter of fact, they're spraying right now. But last night I wanted to tell y'all something. When I was praying to the Lord, why am I coughing like this? He had me go back out. This was about midnight because I was up late trying to get schoolwork done. Midnight. And I got up and I looked and there was the moon. It was almost full. And underneath it, it looked like a chemical streak going straight down and falling. And it was almost like it looked like a giant star falling really, really slow with a trail. I have no clue what that was. But yeah, it, we're under like major attack from military, government, you know, the cops, all that. Because the time is nigh. We're about to go up, saints. We're about to go up and train. T.I.s, you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ? Do so now. He needs you in his army. Okay. So then I asked the Lord, okay, Lord. So if that's going on, why is why are all the saints being under a severe attack? Is it is it about time? I know it's about time, but I mean, what is going on specifically now? And he <coughs> See, <coughs> I'm coughing, uh, and I'm not sick either, by the way. Um, he had me flip to Zephaniah 3, 6. I have cut off the nations, their towers are desolate, I made their streets waste, that none pathes by, their cities are destroyed, so that there is no man, that there is none inhabited. Uh, then I skipped to, to 8, 3, 8 in Zephaniah. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up for the or to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my first fierce anger for all the earth, shall be devoured with the fire, fire, fire of my jealousy. All right. Then Zephaniah 3, 12. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. The remnant, y'all, we are the remnant, saints. The remnant of Israel shall, shall do no iniquity, like these workers of iniquity, gang stalkers nor speak lies, 
neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all thy heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away the judgments. He has cast out thine enemy. You're out. Out gang stalkers. Out Satanists. Out witches. Out voodoo. You're out. He has cast out thine enemy, the king of Israel, and the Lord is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. All right, y'all? So the Lord is bringing his judgment, his fire. We're going to go up and train saints. Mounted patrol, regulators, mount up on the wings of eagles, the Lord told me. I didn't even know that was in the Bible, y'all. Y'all heard me saying, regulators, mount up. Well, I got that because the Lord guided me to young guns and he said, you're a foreman. When Charlie Sheen said, regulators mount up and then Emilio Estevez, that's what the Lord told me. He said, that's you. You're Billy the Kid. I guess you're Billette the Kid. <laughs> We're going to save the poor. We're going to save the people that have no voice and we're going to slaughter the fallen. Okay, and then the final thing the Lord wanted me to tell y'all is we have to keep our joy. Stop focusing on the gang stalkers. And this goes for Big Mouth Lena, me. That's what I was doing the other day. And I got myself into, you know, not a good, not, I wasn't being a good witness by doing that. Uh, if the Lord guides us to confront our stalkers, that's one thing. But I should have used that opportunity to preach uh, God's love, God's or Jesus' love. And though I don't think the guy would have heard it because honestly, he looked like a walking shell. I don't know how to explain it. If y'all don't have eyes to see, you're probably not going to get what I'm talking about. But I feel most of y'all that are called to this channel do have eyes to see. You've been called by the Lord. He looked like a shell, like there was no soul in there. It was a demon. However, the girl cackling in the background that was walking real slow along with him. I mean, if y'all saw how slow this was, it was it was bizarre. Uh, baby steps, baby steps. Keep sailing, Bob. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it was, I could have maybe helped her because I don't think she was gone. She would not look at me, so she knew what they were doing was wrong. However, she could have been under a strong delusion from witchcraft. So... That's how the Lord's been working at, working on me. But I'm going to end it with the Lord wants us to laugh and sing. Sing his praises. Spread our joy in this final hour. If y'all don't know what this is, this is Spicoli. This used to be my favorite movie, and the Lord guided me to this. All right. Hold on. Cubans were in a constant state of revolt. In 1904, revolt. the United States decided to throw a little weight around and, uh... Who is it? Pizza guy. Again? Pizza. Pizza guy, sir. Pizza gate? Pour the deviled cheese and sausage. <laughs> right here, dude. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Am I hallucinating here? Just what in the hell do you think you're doing? Learning about Cuba, having some food. Mr. Spicoli, you're on dangerous ground here. You're causing a major disturbance on my time. I've been thinking about this, Mr. Hand. If I'm here and you're here, doesn't that make it our time? Certainly there's nothing wrong with a little feast on our time. You're absolutely right, Mr. Spicoli. It is our time. Yours, mine, and everyone else's in this room. But it is my class. Hamilton, Brant, Cornfeld, up front. Mr. Spicoli has been kind enough to bring us a snack. But be my guest. Help yourselves. Get a good one. 
It's our time, saints. We're rolling out. God bless y'all.